Well, we're in Hyde Park, and this is, um, well, it's a hostel. It's now 14 beautiful flats for men with uh, alcohol issues and dependency, where they can come and, and learn the skills of independence and, um, and move on into, you know, a different life free of alcohol, or certainly in a controlled way that, that they couldn't do previously. Well, this site previously was our hostel, Regent, Regent Terrace. So that was a hostel for, for men with alcohol dependency. But it was very much um, shared facilities, um, sort of a group room, um, we would make the meals for them. So very much a hostel looking after people, not as it is now, an independence building where you, you're working with people to move on to change their lives. People that used to come here may have been here for years um, and were quite happy with you know what they had, but the, the new drive really is to teach them and to work with them so that they do become independent and not institutionalised and so on. And the flats have everything in them for them to do that, to be able to cook, clean, eat, you know, socialise everything that they can do independently and the staff will work really closely with them with a care plan and a development plan to ensure that when they do leave you know that the, all these building blocks are in place that they can then move on very similar to St George's Crypt you walk around St George's Crypt you don't see any graffiti or any damage because if you show people respect and you believe in them, it's a two-way thing. And the same here, we're giving a message out to these guys that you're worth it. These things are not just for other people, but you can live in a place like this and you can have a life like this and it's attainable.